طموحنا غدنا والوعد والأمل طموحنا جيل إلى العلا يصل This crisis is not only five years old. This crisis started two, three hundred years ago with the advent of capitalism. We mentioned Adam Smith earlier, the modern founder of capitalism. This crisis happened from this disease that has killed and murdered and terrorized humanity for two, three hundred years. Wallahi, check the UNDP report. Every seven years or so, 20 million children in Africa die because there's not enough food. Not enough food. And we have this war on terror. Don't get me wrong, we don't believe in terrorism, it is wrong. But we should have a war on capitalism, on its ideas, because it kills much more, many more people. Millions! And by the way, more people die of dog bites in America than due to terrorism. I don't see a war on canines, a war on dogs. Yeah? So we have a, we have a crisis. 20 million children every few years because of no food? 2 billion people living less than $2 a day? 1 billion people having no sanitation? Even in America, 50% of the people require funds from the government. 25% of people need food stamps or they live underneath the poverty ladder. I was in Chicago just a few months ago. And I was hearing a story about a child. She only goes to school because that's her only meal to eat. We were in Africa, in Burundi, the poorest country in Africa. Children had two meals. America has become like Africa because of its, the systemic issues. Now we're not condemning America, we're not condemning human beings. We're condemning ideas here that facilitate this carnage, this destruction. Why is it that we have 60,000 deaths every day? just because of bad water and no food because it's based on a geopolitical myth that the capitalists want to teach you brothers and sisters which is there are too many needs not enough resources which is a lie it is a lie. One, because the Prophet sallallahu said in a hadith in Tirmidhi, he said the son of Adam, all he needs is food, shelter and clothing, defining our essential limited needs. And he creates an economic philosophy of distribution, not of competition because there's so-called too many needs and not enough resources. And the Prophet sallallahu 1400 years ago was in line with modern geopolitics. If you look at a study done by the Food Agricultural Organization, they conclude there are enough calories on this planet. There's enough food on this planet to feed three planets. Not one, but three planets. Allah Azawajal is our razaq. He is the provider. This is why Ali radiallahu anhu said in a very wise statement, when you see a poor person, don't blame Allah. Allah gave us the resources. He's our razaq. Blame the dhalim. Blame the, uh, the oppressor who's created a system that doesn't distribute the wealth to this person. This is Islam. This is Islam that would change the world, especially by economy, to liberate human beings from the clutches of the, of, of the slavery of capitalism.